We're going to look at some of the key indicators that Google AdSense uses, and these are page views, clicks, page click-through rate, CPC, which is cost per click, page RPM, which is revenue per mill, and estimated earnings. And the date, of course, is just showing what, what date it is. So these are your key things that you need to understand if you're going to be successful with AdSense. If you miss, if you don't understand cost per click, or if you don't understand how page views affect your earnings, then you're not going to be as effective. So page views, first off, this is how many page views your website has gotten, your blog, your web page, whatever it is. Now, a page view is not a visitor. A visitor is whenever a person comes to the site, it's one individual person, but page views is how many different pages were viewed. So one visitor could visit five different pages of your website, and that would count as five page views. So this is essentially the traffic, and the reason that they do it by page views and not by visitors is because every time they visit a new page, it's going to refresh the ads. It's going to be showing a different set of ads and there's another opportunity for them to click on it. So if they don't click on an ad on the first page, maybe they'll click on it on the second page. Now, every time that, usually when someone first lands on your site, that is the highest percent chance that they're going to click on an ad. If they view, let's say 10 pages, there's a very low chance that they're going to be clicking on an ad on the ninth or 10th page. So that's just something to keep in mind your highest your highest percent chance of getting them to click on something is on the first page. Now, the next thing is the clicks. So this is what happens every time somebody clicks on one of your ads. So they're going through your web page and they just click on it and that is going to show up as a click. So what you have here is the page click through rate. This is a combination of page views and clicks. So what this means is, let's say that you have 100 page views and you get 10 clicks from those page views, your page click through rate would be 10%. So because you have 10% of 100. <clears throat> now, 10, a 10% click through rate is very high um, and it's a little bit unlikely, um, but it's actually very unlikely. If you're, if you're doing it by Google AdSense's rules, it's, it's very unlikely that you'll be able to get uh, that high of a click-through rate. For the clicks, basically what you're looking for is you want to be able to influence the clicks in ways that Google AdSense allows. <clears throat> this has to do with changing the colors of the text in the ad. So you can try different colors. And actually Google AdSense now has something that makes it very easy to do this. You can create an experiment and test one color against another and and they will actually tell you which one is is the best performer so now you know page views clicks click through rate the cpc is the cost per click this is another important factor in that depending on what your content is this will depend on this will give you a different cost per click so you could get something as low as eight, eight cents per cost per click. You get something as high as a dollar cost per click or 60 or 70 cents. So you want to have a higher cost per click because in general, if you have a 10 cent cost per click and you got 10 clicks, that means you'd make a dollar. If you had a 60 cent cost per click and you got 10 clicks, you would make $6. So it's a huge difference. If you want to make a dollar or six dollars per 10 clicks, that's that's going to be the difference. So this depends on what kind of the content is. If you're doing like jokes, a page about jokes or something like that, you'll probably have very low cost per click. The reason why this is, is because advertisers will advertise on websites that have the audience they're looking for. So if I'm a advertiser for, you know, home appliances. I want to advertise on a website that talks about home appliances. I don't want to advertise on a site about that just tells jokes because none of my potential clients will be there at the time or they'll be shopping. So you want to have something relevant that advertisers will be able to 
advertise their product and they want to be able to make money off that. So cost per click, high cost per click. You, you can look at things like automobiles, anything about cars, uh, home appliances are good, home home furnishings, home, home decorating, those things are all good. Uh, renovations, real estate, lawyers, those are all high cost per click. And the other thing you want to do is consider all these factors when you're deciding what you're going to write about. So you want to have something that has high page views and can get a high cost per click, ideally. Because if you're going to do something that has, if you're going to write, for example, a blog about lawyers, you want to make sure that <clears throat> there are people going to be searching for the information that you're providing. So you would have to find a way to write about lawyers in a way that attracts enough page views. If, you, if you're just trying to compete, you know, directly against other law firms uh, for people who are looking for advice, that kind of thing might be very difficult because you're not going to have many people who are just browsing. Those people are shopping. So you need to choose a like just very carefully because that will be determining, you know, your long term success and also the difficulty of the niche. For example, making a lawyer's blog could be very difficult because just it's a very high competition area and lawyers are able to spend a lot of money advertising. So just keep that in mind. Uh, page RPM. This is how much money you're making per thousand visitors per no sorry per, per thousand page views so if your revenue per mill is five dollars it makes means that you're making five dollars off of every thousand visitors this means that say you have a page rpm of five dollars if you want to make twenty dollars a day then you need to get four thousand page views per day so it's pretty simple math. If you can get your page RPM up to $8, then you know you can, if you have 4,000 page views a day, then you have uh, $32. And then that all goes to your estimated earnings. The estimated earnings are the way AdSense does the earnings. They don't give you a finalized earning until they actually pay it out. Sometimes there's a, a couple dollars adjustment um, this could be for fraudulent clicks. It's not fraudulent clicks from you doing it. If you do it fraudulently, then you'll lose your account. If for some reason, let's say somebody clicked on five ads when they visited, uh, Google might refund some of the advertisers who, who paid for that. Usually I find that the estimated earnings is pretty much spot on for the end of the month earnings. I think. Generally, it's only like a couple dollars off. Um, they usually crack to like two dollars or something like that. It's for me, it's been very low. I haven't had any uh, major corrections with it. So this is something. This is something that you want to understand whenever you're planning what you're going to be writing about, what your site's going to be about, and you can also consider that you don't always have to have a high cost per click in order to make money. If you find a really efficient way to get page views that really works really well. Um, you could still make money with a lower cost per click. You just have to know what your cost is uh, for you know building the site and running the site. And if you can keep your costs lower than your outcome, that's all that matters. You don't necessarily need a cost per click, a uh, high cost per click, but in general, I would recommend that if you're going to wondering which way to go, I would go for the higher cost per click but it has to be in a market that you think you can write a lot of content that people are interested in and that they're interested in, in reading your style of information on.